doing it for something outside yourself um, is is the only way I could have got to the end. Um, because I left I left myself way before Illinois. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't for me at all anymore. I didn't think of me. It was all all about who I was doing it for and what I was doing it for was was what got me through the, the whole race. Just walking around. He just needs to endure it. He's got to just, he's got another, what is it? Um, Ram is a 3,000 mile bike race. It's, uh, it's nonstop from uh, Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland. And it's basically just who can cover that distance the fastest. Uh, clock runs the whole time, and it's uh, just uh, a test of how fast you can ride a bike and how much sleep deprivation you can deal with. In order to rest just as much as they need or do that. Now, some athletes will do that hour a day, that run a day. Some athletes will go, uh, like Jason Hammer Lane, who raced back in 2011, he just went until he fell off the bike. But you're going across the United States, which is going to expose you to every kind of terrain. I mean, you're going to see mountains, uh, Wolf Creek Pass, you're going to go to elevations above 10,000 feet. And then you're going to have the plains of, of the country where it's just dead flat and straight and you're dealing with wind and, and potentially rain and, and all kinds of elements. Um, and then after all of that, and you've been through six, seven, eight days, whatever it is, you're going to hit the mountains of West Virginia, which may not be quite as high in elevation, but certainly give you an, an incline and a severity of steepness that's a totally different thing. And that's after you've got thousands of miles in your legs. So that's a challenge. And then in the beginning of the race, there's the heat uh, of the desert. And everybody spends a great deal of time trying to figure out how to get through the deserts of uh, Arizona without just melting. <laughs> Bram has to be completed within 12 days, which makes it a really interesting race. If, it, if the time cutoff was 10 days, um, it would really only be possible for the uppermost athletes, the, the pros. Um, and if it was 15 days, anyone could do it. 12 days, I, I say it's diabolical. It's just this diabolical number that it, it's right on the edge where it's possible, but it's highly improbable. It's tantalizing that number. It's, it's this number that you can, you can do it, but it's really, really hard. My name is Rob White. I'm 46 years old. I was born in um, Marinette, Wisconsin, on the east side of the state, along Green Bay of Lake Michigan. Um, I have two children, um, 22 and 18 years old, a boy and a girl. I always wanted to go on these bigger rides, and they were small. <laughs> Ram kind of fit in as the, the top tier of it all. I never saw myself as competitive in any way at all until I started getting on that bike. It, I felt I can be up there with the, the top dogs. I don't know if it was divine intervention or just good luck that I bumped into Maria after Texas time trials. Chris Hoppo and Rob um, passed mom and I on our way back up to the hotel room and Rob White reached out to Maria and you know asked her how her race was and they sort of commiserated over having the same injury they both wiped out on the same corner of the first lap. So over the course of the conversation um, Rob mentioned to mom his intention to compete in the solo race across America 2015 and she looked at him and she said how do you feel about brain cancer and he took off his sunglasses and he looked her straight in the eye and he said yeah and she she said would you like to race for 3,000 miles to a cure? And he said, it would be my honor. Um, and I'm taking off my sunglasses so that you can look me in the eye and know I'm serious. And he was, and he was. Rob, how are you feeling? Well, I'm not gonna say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it out loud. Less than a day.
in the bottom. I will. I think that'd make it really cool. <laughs> and maybe a couple more pieces of cheese on there. We got the good cheese. If you come from Wisconsin, you gotta have the cheese. You gotta have cheese. good cheese. <laughs> something outside yourself um, is is the only way I could have got to the end um, because I left I left myself way before Illinois <laughs> it, was, it wasn't for me at all anymore I didn't think of me it was all all about who I was doing it for and what I was doing it for was was what got me through the, the whole race Faith and spirituality has always been strong in my upbringing, my life. I'm a practicing Catholic and very um, try to stay as involved as I can in my church and try to live with what I believe in, you know. And not that I'm a martyr or something like that, but I think these sufferings, um, the struggles, can inspire, kind of transcend to, to, to someone else to say if you know if this guy can can push through it you know I can too that, that's kind of how I see it and having dealt with personal my, my sister-in-law dying from cancer um, my friend Mike Johnson being diagnosed and actually be, get, getting cured from it, I thought a cancer foundation or something would be appropriate. 
my wife died of ovarian cancer and so it has extra special meaning to me and one reason I want, wanted to come out here and when he asked me I felt honored to come out here and, and help him. He, he had a plate put in here before, okay. and then a, hey. a plate in a bolt. Is that tender? Hey Rob, let's, let's talk about your shoulder. Let's finish the race. Okay. We're almost done. Can we just sit up, Rob. Come on. There we go. Good job. Sit up. Sit up. What's that? What's that? I know it is. I know. But you know what? It's 15 more miles. Yeah. 15. You should have seen him when Jim patted him. He screamed. There's a certain way that it hurts. Does this hurt when we're doing this? Rob, is this hurting? So we can get through this. Please sit up. Please, please sit up. Please sit up. Come on. Here we go. That's it. Good job, Rob. Come on. Here, grab it. Got it. Watch your head. Oh, yeah. Here you go. You're like, Jim, put that juice in his mouth as soon as you can yep. take it. Let him sit up. There you go. There good. You go. good, good, good. Good job, you, Jim needs you to come a little bit more forward. Come in. Forward, there we go. There we go. Okay, if you got a fracture, usually it's point tenderness. If I mash here, is it sore? Right there. So maybe, maybe in there. So when we when we get when we get off the bike on Annapolis when we're done, we're gonna put a sling on it. But we're not gonna put a sling on it now because we got a right bike. The rain, so is, the rain is starting to come, so we want to try to get you okay. safely. You gotta sit up. You're doing fine. There you go. Okay, well, let's let's get this zipped up if you're gonna leave it on him. 
his under really his under his, his, uh, put your chin up Rob thanks What's that? Um, That's supposed to what? Hit? Hit what? Keep going, you are, buddy. You can't lay down again. format. You can lay down at the end, you got 54 miles. You can lay down at the end, you got 54 miles. Tough format. You got 54 miles and then the whole thing is over. Okay? So let's just get this thing done, all right? Okay, but I need you to wake up because I'm not going to put you on the road until I see that you're really awake. So that means you have to put your head up and you got to really make an effort. And that's just getting So really, he's got 39. So the next time he's going to go. Hold on, hold So he's got...